You'll remember that Wales led the way when it came to presumed consent for organ donation and introduced a system where people opted out of being a donor rather than in. Now there's an increase in the push to increase awareness of living donations. This is when people donate a kidney, a lung or a portion of their liver and still go on to live a healthy life. Well, Alexandra Hartley is with one family in Margam who are living proof of this. Alex, uh, tell us more. That's right, Andrea. I'm joined by the Williams family, who are big supporters of living donation. And that's because it's an issue very close to their hearts. Let me introduce them. Craig here has given his um, kidney and Helen has received a kidney and their daughter, Elary, may one day need to receive a kidney as well. So let's squeeze in here and have a quick chat to you all. Helen, first of all, tell me what was life like before and after that transplant? Before it was a daily struggle, a uh, daily challenge. Um, my days were filled with exhaustion, nausea, whilst at the same time very anxious about wanting to desperately to avoid dialysis. And after the transplant, life is transformed. It's a monumental improvement. I feel extremely blessed and grateful um, to have had the gift of life. Absolutely. And Craig, you wanted to be able to give your kidney to Helen, but that wasn't possible. You weren't a match. But then you went on to give your kidney to a complete stranger. How big a decision was that for you? Knowing that it was the only way Helen would receive a kidney, it made it a very straightforward and simple decision to make. Um, the process is one which is inherently safe. Donors are worked up both physically and psychologically to make sure they're fit for the procedure. And seeing how Helen has recovered afterwards, it was the absolutely correct thing to do. What was that moment like when you woke up from surgery, not knowing if it was a success? That was very interesting because we literally passed each other in the corridor. I was being uh, taken out of the theatre suite at UHW as Helen was being wheeled in. And that's surreal because a theatre team is working on both parts of a family on the same day. And how was the recovery? The recovery was surprisingly good. It was four days in hospital, home for a month and back to work and relatively pain free. Let's have a chat with Elary here. Elary, um, you have the same condition as your mum, polycystic kidneys. Um, how are you feeling at the moment? At the moment I'm well. I just make sure that I keep up with my physical health, drink plenty of water, reduce my salt intake and just live my life the best that I can. And of course, both your parents aren't now in a position to donate to you. Does that make you feel vulnerable, knowing you are relying on the kindness of strangers? To an extent it does, yes. However, I just want to encourage the people out there to have a conversation around the dinner table, maybe after seeing this tonight, to share their wishes about organ donation. And obviously after seeing my parents, like Janie, just I have hope for the future. And just want to live my best life <laughs> and fingers crossed thank you very much for talking to us of course if you do uh, want to be a living donor you can be any age you just have to be fit and healthy and as everyone says here they just hope it starts a conversation an inspirational family thank you very much indeed thank you